He had huge resources. Nothing is as strong as love. Everybody wanted the privilege to meet this big giant called TB Joshua. I love you. The first time I met him, he looked loving. Not knowing that behind that was a sadist, a psychopath. I said I was also molested by TB Joshua. This shocking investigation from BBC has proven yet again what we've been warning about false and dangerous prophet TB Joshua. What this two-year investigation revealed makes the likes of David Koresh look like a sanctified saint. According to BBC, T.B. Joshua, a charismatic Nigerian leader of one of the world's biggest evangelical churches, secretly committed sexual crimes on a mass scale, a BBC investigation spanning three continents has found. Testimony from dozens of survivors suggests Joshua was abusing young women from around the world several times a week for nearly 20 years. We deeply grieve for these victims whose lives were ruined by T.B. Joshua. Our hope and prayer are that they would encounter the true healer, Jesus Christ, and that they would heal from the hurt they experienced at the hands of an agent of Satan who used the name of Jesus Christ to dupe, deceive, and exploit them sexually, emotionally, and financially. I was trapped in the synagogue for 14 years of my life. I spent my youth in the synagogue until God set me free. If not for God, I would not be here today. Okay. And I've document, documented it in a book form. And I'm also talking on behalf of other young girls that are still in captivity of TB Joshua. Eight years old, 14 years old, 11 years old. 11 years old are still there because they have money, because they have fame, because they have connection. They can put people down. You have no idea of what I went through. There was a system in there that he used to abuse these women. He's the one that crafted the building of his apartment. The whole building was just designed to keep secret. I call a lady. Prophet wants to see you. He will tell you the specific staircase that this person should come. I felt like there was a beast. Like this beast. I was screaming and he was whispering in my ear that you should stop. Stop acting like a baby. People like the false prophet T.B. Joshua bring untold reproach to the name of Jesus Christ and Christianity. They prey on vulnerable and ignorant people who are desperate for miracles. Thank you, Jesus. My son is free. I always be crying because of this boy. Oh, my son is free. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free, my son is free. And here's the problem we make today. We think if a prophet speaks words that come to pass, well, then it means he's a true man of God. We think if a pastor performs miracles, signs, and wonders, that he must be operating in God's supernatural power. But the fact is, you can speak prophetic words that come to pass and still be a false prophet. You can perform miracles, signs, and wonders and still not operate in God's power. Because this is so important, let me emphasize it and say it again. Deception is not just wrong words, it's also a wrong lifestyle. A false prophet may have the right words and even predict things correctly, but if he has a wrong life, he is a false prophet. What makes this type of wolf in sheep's clothing hard to identify by those who are not grounded in the Word of God is that they mention the name of Jesus and quote the Bible. Jesus warned us in Matthew 7 that you shall know them by their fruit, referring to false prophets. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Matthew 7, verses 15 to 18. If this man had not disguised himself, everybody would have known this truth so quick. The Bible made me to understand that the devil 
will disguise himself like an angel of light. He will come as a wolf in sheep clothing. Very, very innocent. Very, very subtle. But it is until you come very close to them, you know that they are wicked. If people knew their Bible and weren't desperate for miracles, they would have easily spotted that T.B. Joshua was an agent of Satan, disguising as a Christian preacher. There are false prophets. Listen to this. Just a few passages of Scripture. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 11. For false Christs and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders so as to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. False prophets are not always easy to spot. We're not allergic to the false prophet who's an obvious false prophet. When someone stands up and tells just blatant, ball-faced lies, we, we have very little problem saying, well, that's a false prophet. Or if false prophets are doing horrendous things and hurting people and manipulating people, you know, the Jim Joneses of the world, we have no problem saying that's a false prophet. But Jesus puts a finer point on it here. Jesus says, beware of false prophets, not because they're going to be easy to spot, they're going to be out there for you to see and for all the world to see, and you'll be able to know, hey, that's a false prophet ding 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 red flag no jesus says you need to beware you need to be on the lookout because these individuals will dress themselves in the uniform of my sheep they will hide who they truly are and they will learn to trick you into thinking that they are on the road that leads to life and yet they are false prophets. Let's look at a few of T.B. Joshua's failed prophecies, starting with hashtag bring back our girls. Unless I'm not called by God, I, 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 I place my career and my calling on the on land that these 200 and plus children, school children, guess they kidnapped. They have to release immediately. <laughs> No one knows where the remaining girls are, except for 57 girls who escaped and another 100 or so who were exchanged for Boko Haram commanders. During the 2016 U.S. presidential election, Mr. Joshua prophesied that Hillary Clinton would win the election. Uh, ten days ago I was in the vision. They were telling me that at that ten days ago it was man that would have won the election. The law said... Narrowly, there's a state that in almost 99% vote for this woman. And the woman, the woman narrow win. When Donald Trump won the election, listen to what T.B. Joshua said next instead of admitting he was wrong. The prophecy I gave here last Sunday Thousands of people, they went for fasting and prayer. Take God and crying. I will show you one of their leaders. Crying to God that God, please hear our cry. We want this to change. Strangely, he took credit for Donald Trump's election victory. He alleged that after he predicted Clinton's victory, people prayed and fasted, and God changed his mind. America saved because prophet wonders from Walter. Thursday, 10 November 2016. We love you, Prophet. Thank you for helping save America. Your word sent us into deep prayer, fasting and weeping for America. God heard and spared us. Thank you. Sadly, you will see many of TB Joshua's supporters in the comments section of this video defending him and attacking anyone who says anything against their beloved sex offender. In 2014, a six-story guest house built for international guests collapsed, killing more than 116 people. It is believed that the official death toll was severely underreported. Some of our interviewees told us they believe the death toll was significantly higher than reported, explaining that a number of Nigerian nationals who had been working on the guest house were not listed as victims, and that church members had botched rescue attempts and hidden bodies at night. This is how wicked T.B. Joshua was. We urge every Christian never to follow a preacher who claims to have extra power from God. The Holy Bible, the Word of God, is sufficient for you. Fix your eyes on Jesus because the days ahead are dark and evil. Satan is unleashing his most venomous attack on God's people, and he has countless representatives in pulpits. 
The only way to spot a counterfeit is by knowing the genuine. Please help us spread biblical truth. Subscribe, like, and share. God bless you.